Now we're going to talk about um, Word, the SEO, okay? Now, if you've got this WordPress SEO by Yoast, which I, all of my clients get, um, you've got a focus keyword, keyword. So I would a focus keyword would be something that appears in the title. I'll get a tick for that. See, I've got the, there. Now, if I put this in there, and then the description, if I use description from the actual post, it will tell me how many characters I've got left. I've got 65 characters left, so that's enough. All right. So basically, meta description, okay? It's giving me a no, but that's not going to be a problem there, okay? Uh, and then I would update the post, and my SEO will give me an SEO score for the for the um, for the post that I've just created, and I've got a mid-level score for that. Okay, you can work out how you can get a really high score, um, and I might have got a low score because the description content's not enough. Okay, so if I added, for instance, that to it, and then I updated it, I might get a better score. I might not, though. No, I've got the same score. And it gives you some information on how you can do better. With with your titles and uh, titles and keywords, but mid-level scores and high scores are good to have. Uh, uh, but basically, that's how WordPress SEO by Yoast. Now, you don't have to do anything; it will automatically create these for you. But if you wanted to have a manual override, you can manually override each one. And you'll probably see it look like that, and you can drag and drop that into the area you want it to, to go if you want it to go up to the top.